Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So glad to spend a few minutes this morning with you before I head off to work. I want to thank all of you for the really nice comments you left on my other video. I'm saying you'd like to uh, me to continue the marketplace and, you know, keep my channel going. And I really appreciate all of that. Anyway, I have two journals. Their covers are gorgeous. I haven't looked inside yet. These have been added uh, to the marketplace. So if I sound a little funny or strange, um, I've had a cold this week and I woke up not feeling great this morning. So, you know, but life continues, life continues, still heading off to work and all of that. But, um, yeah, just anyway, <laughs> so if I sound off, I've, I woke up with a sore throat again this morning. Anyway, I love the fabric choice on this journal. Isn't that a beautiful fabric? I love that color. And then, uh, three signatures, a little bit of boho fabric here as well. And it says dance in the city. I don't know who created this. Um, and there is no name. Well, I cannot, you have to put names in these cause I don't know who created them. A lot of times they get separated from their boxes. Let me see. Nope. That's a different person. Okay. So whoever created this, if you will please contact me so I can pay you. Um, I'd love to be able to do that. Um, because there's no name in here that I see. So if I come across one, maybe sometimes they sign them at the end. Nope. I don't see anything signed. Okay. So let me know who the dance in the city, who created that, but we'll still get this shown. So she did use my paper pack Tennyson's princess. I wish I had the focus and the time to complete another digital kit or paper pack. I am doing digitals almost every day, not every day, but multiple times a week. Most weeks, uh, usually they're over on my Creative Fabric of Fans page. I do hope that you will consider um, subscribing over there, at least for a little while, to see all the amazing stuff I've put over there. Yesterday, I uploaded a beautiful journal page. It was a really soft colors and these beautiful mushrooms and something I definitely think you all will love but there's exclusive digitals over there and I haven't had much time to do much more besides um, work on that fans page I like how these pages the book pages are kind of different directions that's really neat and that's a great idea <clears throat> I should have thought about the fact that I shouldn't be talking too much on this video before I go to work because my throat hurts and I have to teach all day did I think of that? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to try to talk less today and save the talking for the classes that absolutely, absolutely needed it. And here I am wearing my voice out. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Oh, well, we will get through today the best that we can. Took some day quill. We'll make it work. This is a beautiful, beautiful setup journal. It's like has such a handmade feel, but it's made really well. And that's fun. It's not a, like a factory made feel. It's definitely handmade, but you can see it's reinforced with fabric. The signatures are in there nicely. Absolutely beautiful. So please let me know who created that so I can give proper credit. And then isn't this the sweetest little cover? Look at that bluebird, little key, little metal piece there. Is that a bag? No, it's not a bag. It, it, might, it might be from a bag, but it's not a pocket is what I mean. It's just a little bit of, look at that gorgeous fabric and the dragonflies. Ugh. So this is Blue and Yellow by Barbara Dew. And this, I do not believe, is the same author, um, artist, because the handwriting looks quite different. So this one is from Barbara, Blue and Yellow. What a wonderful color scheme for a journal. I know I've mentioned that before using a envelope there it's just a fun color scheme look at the gorgeous pages oh so pretty I hope well it depends how I'm feeling this weekend I guess whether I need to I mean I need to rest extra anyway right because I'm getting over this cold but I would love to finish my ephemera pile for my next set of journals so I can get to designing those they'll be released hopefully sometime in February there'll be 
I believe, four of them. And I'm excited about that. Look at how pretty that is. Just gorgeous, Barbara. I love the little bits of yellow lace and then this floral washi tape on the edges. Great use of washi tape. Using envelopes as pockets. Look at, oh my goodness, how pretty. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Definitely inspiring me here. I hope you're inspired as well. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. And you know, this would look so pretty on the front of a journal. I always talk about parting journals out. And you know, you can put a family photo or a library card back there. And you can use this on the cover of another journal. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? But, or you can write your information on the back. Stick it in there. So cute. Well, Barbara, adorable. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope you all have a wonderfully creative day. Check out my website, nevermorecreations17.com, and I will see all of you later. Have a fantastic day.